Well, Tom, he's dodging more incoming fire from Donald Trump, who today called him a, quote, total lightweight with $12 in the bank. But Rubio and his campaign aren't taking the bait, content to keep working to ensure voters exact vengeance early next year. Campaigning in Bedford, Senator Marco Rubio is shrugging off a prank pulled by the frontrunner, Donald Trump, who on Monday sent Rubio a care package of Trump ice natural spring water and a note insinuating the senator is sweaty. Oh, I don't care about any of that. If this is the campaign, it's about serious issues. You know, obviously, he's a very sensitive person. He doesn't like criticism, but we're going to focus on the country, on what America's facing. On the stump, the Florida senator continues to pitch himself as the candidate with fresh ideas focused on the future. Our policies are stuck in yesterday. A retirement program designed in the 1930s, higher education policies from the 50s, so called anti poverty programs from the 60s, energy policies from the 70s and tax policies from the 80s and 90s. While the rhetoric looks forward, the Rubio campaign is keeping both eyes on the ground game. It wasn't that I was recruited. I decided to go with him. David Sherman of New Boston had been with Scott Walker. Now, with Walker out of the race, he's decided to back Rubio. They're very much cut from the same cloth. They have some really new ideas. They're young, they're energetic. Senator Rubio alluded to the slow but sure gathering of momentum he hopes will put him over the top. And before you know it, we can win this primary, be your nominee, and make the Republican Party the party of the 21st century. To that end, the senator stayed long after sunset to shake every hand and take every selfie. Uh, this is an important job interview. It's the most important political office in the world, and, and they deserve to be able to interact with me one on one, and quite frankly, on more than one occasion. So we look forward to coming back. Senator Rubio is back out on the campaign trail tomorrow with scheduled stops in Manchester, Dover, and Wolfboro. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.